Wonder who these people are? These faces are hidden to the naked eye, but one company has unmasked their identities. Israeli company Corsite AI uses an artificial intelligence-powered facial recognition system to ID a person in seconds. What makes this technology so groundbreaking is that the AI can recognize a person's face even if it's covered, even if they're wearing a helmet or a mask, as during the COVID-19 pandemic. While most other facial recognition technologies work only when a person's face is uncovered, Corsite's advanced system goes one giant step further. Using a reference image as a starting point, it can ID a person with just half of their face being visible, which makes it ideal for the coronavirus pandemic. I see most of the players in the face recognition market struggling with the COVID masks, but our system was built from day one to be able to recognize people from only part of the face. We were built to find the single terrorist within a crowd when he's trying to disguise himself, when he's trying to hide himself. So we don't need a full face. In low light or even through a reflection, the new technology is already being used in airports, hospitals, and law enforcement agencies around the globe. Most of our customers we cannot disclose because they are intelligence agencies and law and special law enforcement units in, in different countries. I can mention that we are deployed in several police units in Asia, in Europe, and even in Israel. In Israel, the company is currently testing its technology in a hospital to protect healthcare workers. Combining the artificial intelligence with a thermal imaging camera, they check to see who's come into contact with a person infected with COVID-19 and ensure that they immediately go into quarantine. Have a fever? You'll be added to a database and tracked. So if you're showing up in this camera uh, with a high body temperature and then you're coming from another side of the area or to another camera, then it will be automatically added. We have it in a hospital in Israel, already uh, installed for a pilot. And they're very happy with it. But could this powerful new technology spell the end of privacy as we know it, or be used by governments to suppress entire populations? It's a threat that Corsite says it's ready to face, thanks to its privacy advisory board. We will not sell to governments that we do not have the confidence that they will not abuse the, the technology. For Ofer Ronen, Ultimately, the benefits outweigh the risks. It could be saving lives by finding the single terrorist at the airport, like the uh, bomb attack in uh, Belgium two years ago, or it could be saving lives by recognizing a COVID sick person in the crowd and making sure who he was talking to and checking these people. From Tel Aviv, Maya Margit reporting for the Media Line.